interesting. Pekko's using Diddy Kong here today and not Pokemon Trainer. Since Pekko has been making a name for himself with Pokemon Trainer. And Mouse Start with his tried and true Pikachu. Let us see how this goes. Mouse Rat's another face we haven't seen too frequently around. I assume the names that are here that we don't normally see on the weeklies are just because, you know, they have lives and probably work. But that doesn't make their absence any less painful. I miss them. I miss them all. Mouse Rat, Louis Jesus is here too. And freaking Professor MGW. Three people who clearly want to show up to events, but just don't. Anyway, let's see how Mouserat does against Pekko. mouserat has been in old hand here. Been in the scene for quite a while against Pekko. Who at this point has established himself, but I feel like these two are from different eras. Should be an interesting set overall. I'm sure they've played at least a few times before this though. Anyway, I gotta do my housekeeping, so please stand by for more commentary. Mousetrap takes first blood. All right. Share the stream, guys. Wait, what just happened? I was looking away from the screen, then I hear two deaths. Let me see that. Oh, Devin doesn't have the instant replays. Devin, Devin, Devin. Well, we'll see it when we get back to the end. Housekeeping complete. Now it's time for commentary. And Mouserot's looking very poised to just close this game out. He could do it. Diddy Kong isn't super well known for making comebacks, but he can definitely do it. We'll see if Pekko's got the stuff to bring this game back. I respect the attempt. Pikachu's dash attack. For some reason, a kill move. <laughs> that jab. That jab. I understand why he's doing it. It's because he's fighting Diddy Kong. If he gets him out of rocket packs a single time with that, that's a that's a kill right there. I respect that. Diddy Kong's been using the. Uh, self-explosion from up B to two frame people lately because the hitbox is absolutely enormous. It is gigantic. Positively humongous. All right, we're definitely in the realm of possibility here, but Pe Pekko is going to have to watch out for everything now because Pikachu has a dash attack that kills. And Mouse Rat takes game one. Good job, Mouse Rat. But also good stuff to Pekko for bringing that back and making it quite competitive. Now we'll see if Pekko can uh, make the adjustments and win the second game. Okay, so what the hell happened here? What happened here? Oh my god, no! Oh no, not like this. Not like this! Pikachu. Pikachu. Nice. Three, two, 
All right, game two. Time for Peko to make adjustments. Plus, he's picked a counterpick stage. Now's our band Battlefield in town and city. Perfectly recyclable bands, and Peko has chosen small Battlefield. Now, Diddy is somewhat of a fast faller, so Pikachu is going to have some pretty good combos on Diddy Kong. So, just all the more gap that Peko's going to have to work on. But still, Peko effectively took like a 10% death on his second stock in the previous game and still brought it to quite competitive. I wouldn't say it was last hit, but, you know, he showed he can give as good as it gets. He just has to make sure not to get... Killed by Pikachu. Down throw. Nothing. There it is. You can see Mouse Rats on the hunt for those dash attacks. Those Pikachu dash attacks. Because they are... They're scary. One banana. People are jumping around so often in this game. It's actually kind of rare that you see bananas make contact like that. It's like an event now. It's like, whoa, the banana hit someone compared to Brawl and Smash 4, where it's kind of just an inevitability that you were going to get hit by bananas. An inevitability. Now look at Peko. Here he comes. Basically a stock up at this point. Both players are at kill percent and does not go for the rocket explosion. He's looking for it. You can see how Mouse Rat hunts for dash attacks, as Pikachu players should. It's a good dash attack. Fast, strong, can't complain about a dash attack that fantastic. Oh, we got some exciting combos from Peko. Oh my god. Still no dash attack, there's the back air. Pikachu kills with a bear. Yes, Pikachu's very well-known kill move, a bear. It's so wild when you see kill move, like combo moves in this game kill. And oh my god, what a kill. And suddenly, Peko's lead isn't looking so pretty. I dare say Peko may even be in danger. As long as Mouserat's still alive to get a 0% Kim. Just considering how Diddy can sometimes just die. This is definitely the character to take advantage of things like that. And you can see it in the way Peko plays, too. He's, he does not want to be anywhere near offstage. Yeah, he's doing really high recoveries, which I understand. It's completely understandable that he wouldn't want to get like hit by a random move at a low percent, because that's happened twice now in this set. And Mouserat is still, still living. Banana doesn't get it. Peko takes game two. Barely. <laughs> what a game. That could have gone either way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, the rare banana making contact. So right here, you can see from the way that Mouse Rat is moving, he's looking for dash attack. He's like, oh, here I come. I'm coming in. I'm going to dash in. I'm going to dash out. I'm going to look for you to make a mistake so I can dash attack. And then right here, he goes for it. You can see him start the dash attack. But no such luck. That Diddy down tilt's much too fast for something like that. And here we have Pikachu's up air being a kill move. <laughs> stage is banned. FD Kalos banned. And PS2 is the stage chosen. Whoop. Stop the battle. Diddy and then right Pikachu. here... What happened right here definitely led into uh, Peko's more defensive gameplay style. 
or cautious, I would say, in the final game, how he was doing high recoveries being generally dangerous. Because, you know, you don't want to go out like that. You don't want to just die at one or less. Anyway, we've got a game three here, and it is a good game three. Put up a pull for the next set. Next set will be D uh, Nin Ninjendo versus Louis Jesus. So feel free to vote on that if you want to earn yourself some dev stars. But in the meanwhile, let us continue with this game, which has been going quite evenly up till this point. Here's the forward air. Yeah, Mousra has been looking for every opportunity to just set up a rocket barrel gimp against Diddy Kong, which is completely understandable. That thing is very easily gimped, and Pikachu's got a lot of weak multi-hitting moves, which is the perfect thing to gimp Diddy with. Hit him a single time, and he's out of there. More so if the move is very weak, which, you know, Pikachu's moves are. That's right, he's utilizing a lot of jumps in his gameplay style, too, to avoid getting nailed by bananas. You gotta watch out for down tilts, too. Oh, oh, oh. The off throw. No thunder confirms. No thunders. Oh my god, look at this man move. Nasrat's trying to use the low cooldown on his forward smash to bait out something, but no such luck. Oh, the dash attack, but no no good. Peko got that good DI. When it comes to horizontal kill moves that send you across the entire stage, holding down can actually very greatly increase your survivability. You shouldn't do it if you're already close to the blast zone because it sends you at a terrible angle, but... If it sends you full stage, always DI with down. It's really good because uh, launch launch speed influence just, it has a big effect when it's magnified over a large distance. Highly recommend it. Anyway, Peko is sitting here pretty at 175. Could die to a grab, could die to a dash attack. He's just dying. But Mouserai cannot find this kill. He's going back, he's going for it. He's looking for it, there's the Pikachu kill throw. You know, Pikachu needed to kill her. <laughs> Pikachu, the character who is small, smaller than Pichu. Here it is. Here's a combo. And you can see it. Peko's DIing hard onto the stage. He does not want to be off stage against Mouserat. Not after, not after the two like sub twenty percent deaths he's taken. It's, uh, uh, is that it? Oh my god, the rocket packs explode and almost get a trade kill, but no good. That's the third time we've seen a rocket pack gimp. But here we go. Last duck a piece. You'll love to see it. These two are neck and neck. They're going crazy. They're going back and forth. These fast little rodents. My eyes are so glued to the action, I can't get a word in edgewise. And there we go, Peko's pulling ahead on percent. But there's the, there's the banana. That's not but where's the banana, that's the end there's the banana. Oh! Oh my god, Bowsbet's knocking on Death's door. Avoids that banana, that could have been really bad. Oh! Oh yeah, Peko's looking hard for bananas and down tilts now. Diddy Kong mains only want one thing, and it's disgusting. It's actually two things. But here's Mousefrack closing the gap. Any decent combo could send Peko off stage. 
Into danger. Oh my god. Rolls out of danger. Rolls out of harm's way. No Pikachu forward smashes today. Mouse Rat is jumping like a maniac. He does not want to get caught by a down tilt or a banana. And Peko just looking for a safe place to land to pull out and get another banana. There's the forward air. Big forward air. Oh my goodness. And Peko takes it. And I did not get rid of the stages. I'm a bad streamer. Great set, guys. An excellently performed set. Blah, set. Let us relive the memories together. That diddy up here. Oof, this was just a great set. These two were doing a really good job with the, uh, just the overall, like, push and pull of the match. They were both being really cautious to just not have something really stupid happen to them. And overall, it was a pretty straight set. Jesus, Peko just respawned and got the F-Tilt 2 frame. Jesus. How often do you see that? Oops. Did a little, a little late. Right here, I assume Mouse Rat didn't think that Peko was just going to fling himself off the stage, considering how Peko was playing the entire set, basically keeping his feet firmly planted. But there it is. Anyway, the next setup will be Luigi's versus Nintendo. Please stay tuned for it. <laughs> 